Hello footprinters, Chrissy here, um, been a very interesting few days, a um, couple of things to read upon, I know that the Bill Taylor was supposed to be um, testifying on Friday, he was one of the men in the text triangle with Sonderland. And um, John Bolton, I think, is gearing up to chat to people. But he's definitely big with news and got some stuff to say. Uh, but what I thought I'd look at for this reading is... Tulsi Gabbard's very interesting reaction to Hillary Clinton saying, look, the Russians are already a grooming a Democrat for 2020. And she didn't mention a name. She just said she and there are four, four or five women running for the presidency, you know, campaigning for it. And Tulsi Gabbard, that's the one who came out and said, I am not in anybody's pay book or whatever. Um, why would she even comment on that? I mean, you just don't say anything. <laughs> don't say anything. Um, it's interesting. So, I am going to do a Celtic cross on Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi, Tulsi sorry. Tulsi Gabbard. Gabbard. Is she really? Now, I know I did a reading on her a while ago and said, look, it seems like she's a she joined the wrong party. So let's have a look and see if there's any basis. I mean, she's the only one who came out swinging after that. Elizabeth Warren didn't, um, Kamala Harris, uh, Marianne Williamson, she didn't, uh, Amy Klobuchar didn't. Um, so, you know... Let's have a look at Tulsi Gabbard. What's going on with her? So, I'll do a cross. Tulsi Gabbard. What's going on with Tulsi Gabbard? What's going on with Tulsi Gabbard? That'll do it. Now, what's on the bottom? Eight of Pentacles. She is um, very busy getting into all the details of what she wants to do and everything. But I think there's also somebody else having a really close look at Tulsi Gabbard campaign. Anyway, the situation. Why did she come out swinging when she really could have just kept her mouth shut? The Hierophant, the government. I don't think this is the US government. The institution. There's definitely a governmental influence on her, I think. Um, but I'd like to say this is all about the US Constitution and the institutions of the US government, but I can't. There's something about... Uh, some institution has a bit of a hold on her or something on her. That's why she's come out swinging. I'm, I might get some clarifiers on that in a, in a few minutes. Um, the challenge for her. Oh. 
the challenge for her is to not be a fool. This is interesting that this is the challenge for her. Not to take foolish risks. Hillary said somebody's being groomed by the Russians. If that was the case, they would not want her taking foolish risks, and that includes opening her mouth and saying something when keeping her mouth closed would be best. What's the focus of the situation? The Knight of Wands. Somebody offering action, offering to take action, offering to investigate. Somebody saying, look, this needs, picking up the wand and saying, this, this person needs to be looked at. Somebody has come along to Hillary and with an investigation or results of some investigation somewhere and said, look, this is a bit suspicious. I know some of the readers don't like Tulsi Gabbard. I have no opinion either way. But, yeah. Um, now, her past, her recent past, the Page of Pentacles offers somebody's come along with news to her and offers of money so you know somebody has come along with money to try and and buy her influence the present for Tulsi Gabbard seven of cups she's um trying to cloud the issue um I think she's done it in the wrong way she's she's trying to confuse the issue and and you know hit back by hitting back maybe she can make it disappear into the ether I, I don't think that's going to be the case the near future for T Tulsi Gabbard four of swords oh um, I do know that she's been raising funds off this accusation, but this is the stepping back and taking a rest card. Um, retiring from the scene. What's in her environment at the moment? The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. It can also mean the greedy merchant or overindulgence. I think maybe she's I think she feels like who who wishes to become president uh at Jeopardy. Uh, but also she's she was really too over the top when she came back with that statement and I don't think it did her any help it helped her any it's jeopardized her, her run for presidency even though it, it did boost her fundraising for a while what others see others see <laughs> Somebody above her, King of Swords. Others see somebody's words and somebody's thoughts coming out of her mouth. Um, what's with that white pantsuit that she's always wearing white? You know? Others see her as a puppet spewing out somebody else's words and thoughts. I don't think she's entirely trusted. What's her fear? Seven of Wands. The fear is that she's going to have to stand up and defend herself and her actions. Wands are about actions. 
the seven of wands is about defense of those actions or de or taking a stand and she her fear is she's going to have to defend her actions her hope hmm the king of pentacles the hope is that she's going to have the resources and the stability behind her of somebody powerful that she can see through this again it could be more than one person it could be more than one leader from somebody else from, from somewhere else um hmm interesting what's the outcome for Tulsi Gabbard ace of wands new opportunities new ideas new action she's going to be taking some new action after retiring for a while will it be what that action will be I don't know it could be I think she's going to retire from the race for the presidency and I think she's going to head out and try to approach it maybe 2024 in a different way. Um, now I'm going to use a Tarot's Apprentice duo as I call them, a word of warning and a word of solace. Word of warning for Tulsa Gabbard. Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, uh, Tens are always the end of a cycle and ten of cups happiness and family the word of warning the gop or facade um i often see this when i'm talking about politicians as a facade and when i think about Tulsi gubbard and look at her that's what i see i see a facade um she's not really showing who she is and people are starting to see through that facade. So I'd say that's a word of warning for her. A word of solace. The Queen of Swords. If she backs out and leaves, she's not going to be subject to the scrutiny of people like Nancy Pelosi and other investigators, female investigators especially, have been especially strong in the last couple of years. If she backs out now and just retires quietly and takes a different path, a different opportunity, she can avoid this scrutiny. Now, I'm just going to have do a I've got the Lenormand cards here I'm going to do a couple of clarifiers on the Hierophant Hierophant The gentleman. Um, I'm just going to read this, read this little book. I haven't looked at my Lenormand cards for a while. Um, so there's a gentleman behind her. Twenty-five. The ring, marriage, partnership. She committed to a relationship with another gentleman, with with somebody, some man in a government space. Thirteen. A child. And it's very nice, pleasant relationship with whoever she's entered into an agreement with. 
gentlemen. It has got something to do with government and government influence. Cross thirty six the cross Always a sinister augury. Short-lived misfortune. Okay. She's got to tie herself tied up with, this is a foreign government. Um, it all started out very pleasant when she decided to partner with this representative. But things are starting to backfire on her. Yeah, I, look. Like I said, this is just my interpretation of the cards. I've always felt that something was going to come out which meant she had to withdraw and I think that time is going to come soon. Like I said, I have no opinion of her either way. I'm relatively objective except that I've always thought that no, she wasn't going to go there. Um, and it's she wasn't going to get there. Um, I think she's joined up forces with the wrong people and I do think she joined the wrong party um, like I said earlier uh, but those are her actions and you know that's that anyway thank you very much for um, joining me this evening and love your footprints and I'll see you at the next reading bye bye Hi Footprinters, Chrissy back again. I've just done a reading on Chelsea Gabbard. So now it's, I'm going to have a look at John Bolton. John Bolton is a very, very angry man. And um, look, I'm sure he's done a lot of things that he shouldn't have and I'm quite sure he's got some worries about that. But I thought I'd have a quick look at him. I'll do an overview an overview of him and then something called am I on the right path and to check how he's going that way so I am going to use a very edgy deck which I love it's called the steampunk tarot wisdom of the gods of the machine and it's by John and Caitlin Matthews with illustrations by Will Kingham and it's very edgy very different um, and I really really enjoy using this and I just was looking at thinking about what deck I'm going to use next and who I'm going to read on and I saw this deck and I thought John Bolton so let's have a look at John Bolton what's going on with him Well, I've got the list here for the Major Arcana because they don't have any of the the names are all different. Now, I mean, they're all the, the same meaning, but the names are different. So, right. And I'm not very good at matching them up using just the numbers. So, Seven of Engines. This is the Seven of Swords. Uh, of Engines is Wands. The Seven of Wands. He's feeling very defensive and he's taking a stand. So engines are wands. Seven of wands. He's taking a stand and he's feeling very defensive. He's not going to let other people bring him down. Um, okay, so the first card with him. The Six of Leviathan. Now, Leviathan is pentacles, coins. Um, this is uh, 
these this couple of this group of people are very comfortable and they're they're laughing and they're having you know a wonderful little picnic and enjoying themselves and but they've come out of this huge giant um slow moving contraption this juggernaut of a thing and i think he's he's feeling free of the juggernaut of the white house he's taking some deep breaths and he's he's getting ready to share the six of pentacles is about sharing he's climbed out of the juggernaut the juggernaut here or the the soul of ireland here it's the white house and all it's got to do he's taken a deep breath he's got some fresh air and now he's ready to share What's his current the current influences on him? The nine of submersibles. Submersibles are cups. This is the nine of cups. And the nine of cups is wish fulfillment or um but it's really interesting. Wish fulfillment and off in the traditional right awake it's the greedy merchant. Now it's really interesting in this because in this deck you can see on the submersible there's a skull and head, the skull and crossbones. He's feeling a bit puritanical. He is feeling, I'm going to poison the ship for Trump. He's, I don't know why he, I, you know, but he is like, that's it. I'm going to take this greedy merchant down and, you know, poison chalice, basically. <laughs> One big, um, so he's there, he's got the poison and he's ready to spill it, you know, and, and this, this submersible is also shining a light on a total wreck. So he's going to spill his guts, poison the waters for Trump and really shine a light on what a wreck he has created. What's he thinking? Two of Leviathans. This is the Two of Pentacles. He's thinking he has to tread carefully. He has to balance things. It's a card of manipulation. These people are looking out and they're having a think and watching things happening at, in the outside. And perhaps they're watching a race. I'm not quite sure what's happening. But whatever they're watching, they're waiting to see what happens. So that's what he's basically doing at the moment, waiting to see what happens, what happens, and see how he can manipulate it to his best advantage. What's in his near future? The five of Leviathans, the five of coins. Yeah, you can see this guy. He's just thrown his his kit bag over his shoulder, and he is walking away from the warmth of the fire. He's had enough doesn't care if he's out in the cold he doesn't want to be there anymore um he's put himself there and he's just looking back at all he can see is okay my cat wanted to get out and be with me i think she could hear me doing a reading anyway yeah he's um got the kit bag over his arm he's walking away from the warmth and also the pollution he he's walking away from the polluted area the pollution of the white house in this case he just doesn't want to know he'd rather be out on his own he's sick of the polluted environment that's just you know destructive what is underneath him what doesn't he want to think about ten of engines this is the ten of wands this is he he knows a lot of secrets he's carrying a lot of burdens this is often the card of martyrdom and maybe he thinks there could be an element of him martyring himself by coming out and talking but he's carrying a heavy burden and he's really just you know wants to just 
get rid of it, I think, but he doesn't want to think because this position is all also about what you don't want to think about. He doesn't want to think what could happen to him by unburdening himself, becoming like a martyr to the cause of getting rid of Trump, someone who's sacrificed to that cause. Um, and trust me, there are people, there are always people on both sides who are willing to sacrifice others to get what they want. Uh, and just and and they they have the the point of view that the end justifies the means. No, it doesn't. It doesn't justify the means. You do things properly. Um, okay. In his recent past, what's been happening in his recent past? Two of submersibles. This is a new partnership. Um, he formed a partnership with somebody or somebody. Uh, some, when I mean somebody, I mean some group of people, as in a body of people. He's talking to Congress. He has been talking to Congress in the recent past. And I also think there's rumours that he's been getting people in the White House to leak things here and there. So those partnerships too. And what is the next step for John Bolton? Captain of Leviathan. This is the King of Pentacles. Captain of the Leviathan. This is Trump. The next step for Bolton, I think, is doing his part to bring Trump down. Um, whatever his motivations may be, I do think he's going to play a role in it. Um, because he knows a lot of secrets. I've done I did a reading on him just after he resigned and said he knows a lot of secrets. And um that's what's been burdening him. And he's he's going to be one of those who it's gonna be a group of people, not one singular person. Who and he's going to be one of those. Now The other thing I'm going to do is put this bottom card aside with these others. And on top of them, I'm going to do another little layout. It's a little four card layout and it's called Am I on the Right Path? And it will just see if he's, he's doing it the right way. If the way he's doing things is... is um, is it going to be helpful to not just himself, but to the people wanting to get rid of Trump as well? So we'll do a little bit of a another shuffle with the rest of the cards. Just move these up here. One, two, um, three, four. Okay, so am I on the right? Is, is John Bolton on the right path? Is John Bolton on the right path? What's on the bottom? The Emperor. Trump. The Emperor here, he's in this protective bubble. But the thing is about glass bubbles, protective glass bubbles, they can shatter. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, where is John Bolton now? Messenger of airships. Page, a messenger. Page of swords. I think he's feeling a little bit like the cuckoo in the nest, the spy in the nest. He's still got his spies in the administration and he's getting news from them all the time. Where is he going? Brazen head. 21. Nope. 11. Brazen head 11 is justice. He's heading towards justice, towards either dispensing justice or facing some justice, but I think he's heading towards 
bringing Trump to justice in this case. That's where he's going, going towards justice. I mean, he may have to pay for some of his actions. He may not, but he's heading towards justice. So I, I do think that's more to do with getting Trump, getting rid of Trump than himself ending up in deep trouble. I'm not saying he won't end up in trouble. He might, but I don't know that he's done anything that could send him to jail. So I think it's certainly heading towards justice with regard to Trump. Obstructions in his path. So what's in his path? Ace of Engines. The Ace of Wands, new actions by people, the White House, whoever, they're going to try and come up with things to stop him um, from telling what he knows. And the final outcome. So I'll, I'll tell you what, with this card, this is very interesting. They've got this wonderful contraption and they're letting it go and it's sending sparks everywhere. But have a look. They're going to try and come up with ways to stop him from testifying. This person is just walking away calmly. But these other people involved, they're running all over the place. That's Bolton. Whatever they're going to, they're going to try, he's just going to walk calmly through it. And these guys, they're going to find whatever they try might just backfire in their face. And the final outcome for the path he's on. A new journey, The Apprentice. A new journey. Um, it's a new journey for him. He might have to pick up and start again. His reputation might suffer greatly and he might have to pick up and start again. But the final outcome with all of this and with his involvement in it could be a new journey for America. And a new journey for the administration. Having to pick up and start again. At the end of all this, once Trump's gone, America is going to have to pick up and start again. So, um, <laughs> I'm just totally amazed by this. Um, this justice card is interesting because what you can see, you can see in the background, they've got openings into the head. Yeah, it's like justice is blind. He's going to walk towards justice and give them an insight even more of an insight into what's going on in Trump's head. Um, so that's John Bolton. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I love doing it. I love using this deck. Um, the interpretations are just amazing and the, the imagery is just amazing. Um, uh, you know, standing strong and tall. Look at this statue. Standing strong, standing at the ground. It's just, I do think he is going to be one of a number of people who are going to be in that core group of people who do get Trump out of the White House. So uh, we will just wait and see. Thank you again for joining me, Footprints. Love you very much, and I'll see you at the next reading. Bye-bye. Hey Footprinters, I have a bit of time left on the phone and I thought I would do a reading on the last two weeks of October for Donald Trump. I'm using my Sacred Circle Tarot, which was written by Anna Franklin and illustrated by Paul Mason. Very nice deck. Lots of imagery and colour, which you know I like, and, and different imagery. Um, I just did John Bolton, and you would see um, a, a lot of cards that interpret things, the imagery differently as well. So anyway, let's have a look at the next two weeks for Donald Trump. Okay, next two weeks for Donald Trump. The last two weeks of August of October 2019 with Donald Trump. The last two weeks of October 2019 with Donald Trump. The last two weeks of October 2019 with Donald Trump. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, 
Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll give the weekends a rest. This is Monday the 21st of October. This is Friday the 1st of November. Let's have a look on the bottom first. Imagination, the Queen of Swords. Um, Queen of Swords is investigations, is justice being caught up to answer more more and more questions coming out beyond imagination. Okay, Trump. Um, for the next two weeks, the last two weeks of October, leading up to the 1st of November here. Let's have a look. Ooh. Pretty self-explanatory. The end of a cycle. This is the scythe. There's... Lots of skulls at the ground at this person's feet. Um, there's a moon lit in the background, indicative of secrets, agendas. Uh, yeah, I think he can feel the end of his presidency um, coming. I don't think it's there yet. Um... I still think it could be a couple of, quite a few weeks away yet. But I can remember a few months ago, and I have to have a look, and if, if you can remember which one it was, I did a reading for the second half of 2019 for Trump, and I had the um, one of the smaller cards to do some clarifiers, and one of them indicated Trump as a retired gentleman. So I think he can see the end coming for his presidency. The shaman. Nine. The shaman. That's the hermit, I think. Shamans, hermits, wise men. They go and they find... Um, they learn... They're out in the cold for a while and they come back and this shaman is letting a whole heap of secrets, a whole heap of things come out and shine in the light. The shaman. I think I think this could be Bolton or even Muller. But more likely Bolton who's resigned a while ago. He's gone and he's gone and had a good think. Um, so Bolton is going to pop his head up even more so than he has been lately. That's Bolton. The High Priestess. Wow, these are all major arcanas. So the impact is going to be big. And the impact of them could play out for quite a while yet. Uh, or could be felt for quite a while. Secret agendas, hidden agendas and secrets coming to light. It's really interesting because, again, you have the moon there. The moon. Hidden secrets and agendas coming to light. Uh, the shining orb. Everything coming to light. There's so much in this imagery about things coming to light during this coming week things that are going to further the death of the Trump presidency the Trump administration six of swords solace a tough transition once he's through that part of the week, maybe he'll be taking a bit of a deep breath and finding some solace in. It could soon be over. That's the Six of Swords is weathering the, tr the trust. 
the rough journey and seeing the calmer waters ahead and knowing that the rough journey could soon be over. There's a little butterfly in this. Butterflies are, significant, are a significant, significant of, <laughs> they're a sign of change. <laughs> so the, the rough journey could soon be over and there'll be some changes coming. The seven of discs, seven of pentacles. Take stock of things and be prudent. Sit back, really have a look at things. Really have a look at what you've got. Be prudent. Maybe start thinking that, what's that saying? Something is the better part of valour. Um, prudence is the best. I can't remember, but you might be better off being prudent and assessing the situation carefully and again again we have a moon if trump hasn't been assessing things somebody else has and again we have a smaller moon here but it is shining and it is peeking through the rocks in the stone monument more things are going to people Somebody else is going to be assessing things and they're going to realise there's even more that's going to come out. I'll do a quick look at just uh, one card for both Saturday and Sunday, the weekend. Illumination with the Queen of Wands. Nancy's not going anywhere. She's going to be sitting in, sitting in her office on the weekend and she's going to be keeping things. That, and she's got the fox there. The fox in Lenormand, very crafty person. She is crafty. She's going to be setting fires. Now, next week, initiation. This is the wheel. Karma, again, more light spilling out of the cauldron. The wheel, more and more and more and more things happening. I'll just double check that. 16 is the wheel. I'm pretty sure it is. Again, these are one of the things that... Some things they have there. No. 16, oh, 16 is the tower. Uh, I do find this deck a little bit confusing sometimes. Because it's... Um, 16 is the tower. So a maze. A maze of things. Initiation. I'm going to actually read the book for that card. Um, what did I do with it? I am... There we go. 16 initiation. Knight of Swords. Tower. Initiation is not the tower. That is 15. Well, initiation is initiation makes a transition, the nature of which can be divined from surrounding cards. One cycle has ended and another is about to begin. So it's it's interesting because it's underneath death here. So this deck does have a couple of extra cards. I keep forgetting that and it throws the arcana out a bit. But it's really interesting that it's getting, yeah, definitely. He's getting the message more and more and more that he can't stay where he is. Page of Cups reflection. He's going to get some news. He's going to have to sit back and think about it. It's emotional news. This news could have something to do with the Senate. I think maybe the Senate is getting ready to turn on him. If I have time this week, I might do a quick reading on that. But 
next in movement the knight of cups again it's cups it's movement it's either somebody's going to bring him an offer or he's going to go to them with an offer um an offer to movement to move um i think things are coming to a head in the last couple of weeks eight the warrior eight is strength this is strength this woman is sitting there and she has her sword and she is dominant the strength of the case against him this is what these two these three cards are leading up to him news about emotional news offers because the case of the strength against him is the strength of the case against him is just pretty overwhelming the green man the fool this is the first of november he's going to have to think about a new journey uh the green man in Celtic mythology i think is often um about renewal rebirth powerful forces are at work in your life breaking down the old order so a new one may emerge um yeah i think november is going to see the final breakdown this is the first of november is november's going to be the see the final breakdown of the trump administration where it is beyond all saving um anyway that's my reading for trump for the next couple of weeks free will can change things time can change things but as you can sort of see with those readings those readings were full of light being either escaping or being shone down on things and yeah and emotion rough transitions having to reassess things especially with you know, they think that they learn everything but still there's more in the back to learn so they think they have everything congress they think they have everything but there's still more coming out nancy lighting five she's not going to take the weekend off um being called forth to answer for himself anyway that is my reading i hope you enjoyed it i love your footprinters and i'll see you at the next reading bye bye